Okay, let's see how we get this place sorted so they don't want kids. I hope it's not the beak guy. And to mention, someone did die here when we were here first time. The rats killed pretty much everybody. And we were looking for someone like Kolshvinsky. Something, something, Kolshvinsky. This was the laughing clown. Really gotta go. Wild bearded lady. What's that these ones are? Cute girl, share a few questions. Continue. Any rumors? Nah. We, if you wanna see this this episode, go back in my playlist. There, it's there. This whole place. So I won't be reading everything. I'll just mostly. Okay. Come on, comrade. We're not afraid to hear something nasty, but I can see that your friend has a warm heart. He will never insult us or try to break us up, right? Is this them? Might be. There won't be any sugarcoating in my words. You two are not meant for each other. It's painfully obvious. Speechcraft. Guys, I was able to make you fight one another, but I. I was asked to make you fight one another, but I can see now that you're a great couple. I would never do anything bad to be to you. Be happy. I was ordered to dispose of you two. Time to die. Personality. Lie. Hey, I want to ask a few questions of your boyfriend. He, how could he marry you after all we did together? Oh. Uh, hey, friends. We don't. You don't happen to know a strange man in a silver unitard with a waddle on top of his head. Uh, who are you talking about? No, never heard about such a person. I'm starting to feel as if you're making fun of us. Did you want something else or can you just leave us alone? Why does speechcraft work in the sense that we want them to be together? Why can't it work that we want them to... to break up? Like we're so good at talking, but apparently that's personality, so we won't be able to break them up. We can only kill them then. Okay, let's try number one. There won't be any sugar coating my words. You two are not meant for each other. It's painfully obvious. The girl keeps on smiling, but this smile touches not her eyes. And why would you say something like that? Is it fun for you to shit on true and honest feelings of others? You are not mature enough to create a family. Do you even know the name you will be? You will give your first child? And where do you plan on living after the honeymoon? Let's see... Number one, if they know the name of the child and if it's Ilsa, what was it? Then we know that the, these two need to die. And number two, guys, just separate before it's too late. Don't you know what? Don't you know that the in the future your union will produce a terrible dictator, a bloody tyrant? Let's try number one first. The girl laughs without mirth. Pathetic. You think we'll fight over such stupidity? And why do you even want us to fight? Just for fun? When our firstborn, Ilya, that's it, will be born in my parents' house, we will remember you and laugh. People like you die alone, you bitch. Get out of here and leave us be. I failed. Nope. I need to load. I need to be able to do this. But what happens if we choose uh, the, the second choice that it's going to grow up and become a f insane couple of words on your marriage looks at you sure thing he we thought people here in Gumpy mad we seem to be in love cures everyone it touches it's so nice to get stopped by people who simply want to wish luck to our young family union so what were you going to say these two look so good together please don't ruin their love okay there won't be any sugar coating my words it's painfully obvious the girl keeps on smiling but this smile touches not her eyes Okay, so we, we tried the first one. Uh, let's try the second one. Guys, just separate before it's too late. Don't you know that in the future your union will produce a terrible dictator, a bloody tyrant? The young people start hysterically laughing at your words. Oh god, so you're one of those local clowns. We're so sorry, we thought you were some random person eager for a chat. And you were giving us a private comedy routine. That's a bit dark, but ultimately really funny. Um, yeah, sure, I'll be going now, Make making up new jokes and such. Fuck. What happens if we kill them? Can we put dynamite behind them and just run? Or will that anger the whole 
place. Curious, can you give him poison this one and get make him addicted and then he dies? Okay, so we have that one. We can increase personality too, but that that, that no, that won't change anything. What's uh, what else can we do that increases our chance with the boy boyfriend? Throwing weapons <laughs> gambling Survival, first aid, stealth, no. How about this guy? Does he have personality? Can you chat up the girlfriend? Continue, okay, talk to my girlfriend. Oh, boring. A couple of words. New marriage, continue. No, I don't want them to be together. I want them to break up. Personality, lie, hey, you're about your boyfriend. Uh, Peacefully, but now it's going to kill you. Are you scared? It's crazy. It's long, but kind of tight. If that's your day of joke, you better get out of here now. No. If we attack them, then everybody gets pissed. It's not going to be a problem to kill them all, but it's useless. What happens if we put activate the dynamite? Put it in the guy's inventory. Weapon. What? What happened with the dynamite? So we need to take it from him then. And trade. Never mind, let's go. Come here. Come. God damn it, Fidel. Can you use. Get the right future. Discuss tactics. Additional offer. Wait here. Just for fun. And uh, wait, then we put the. Uh, oh, we had one already. Use. For fun, two minutes. Wait, so we have two. We dropped this one. <laughs> Use. Oh. Let's put two minutes. Pickpocket. That one. Close. Wait. Loot that one. I wanna see what happens here. You take explosive with the makeshift timer. Because we might it might aggro the whole place. But I don't see how, but how can they know I did it? But that seemed to work and it was quite easy. You didn't even have to like steal. I don't know. I feel bad now. But I'm not saving. I don't want to fuck this up. How long does two minutes take? Will the bearded lady die or is it just like this area? Will please die. We could use this for the lady at the casino also. It's gonna kill many, unless this brings the whole place to agro. What the fuck? Two minutes? Was it two hours? It might be two hours. It's like two minutes for us. Two hours there. Huh, this is gonna take forever, I guess, then. I'm excited, but I'm bored. Bye bye, lady. What are they pissed about? Okay, so they got pissed at us. How did they know we did it? Okay, so we need to load. That's weird. How did they know? 
Oh, place aggro, aggro. Young man took 145 HP damage. So we can't do that one either. So how do we do it then? How it's so weird to me. How go, how do they know that we did it? God damn it. A couple of mar words about your marriage, your thing. Save Unitard. I I'll just load. So I was I was gonna try to use the Perfume. That helps. One couple of marriage. Continue, continue, continue. Personality failed. Nope. We won't be able to do this. Can we put the dynamite run out of the area totally? What happens then? Let's save this one. Go here. Uh, which one is it? Weird. Ah, uh, here. Drop. Yes. Use this one. Thirty. Steel. Big pocket. That one. Okay. So now we fail. What the fuck? Okay. So how could they know we did it then if that actually meant that they didn't notice we doing it? Oh. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that outcome. Can we persuade someone to kill them? wonder if that's possible. Answer a couple questions for me. Let's change the subject. No. Trying to see if we can persuade someone to kill them for us. Damn it. I really want to solve this mission. Oh, nice. Solve this mission. Unload. This guy then. Fair headed man, tell me details. Oh yeah, right. So there's a pack of rather wild rats living near the circus. We'd be fine with it, but they already ate one of our guests. Thank god there's nobody noticed it, but it's stuff like that continues, we could say bye bye to our money. Who needs a circus where you have a high chance of getting mauled by a rat pack? Your circus isn't popular as it is, but I'll try to fix the rat problem. We already did, we killed the rats. Uh, could you introduce yourself, pal? I'll go check it out. And then come back. What the f- We already killed the bat rats. Could you introduce- What? Hey, but we killed the rats. Are they back? No. They're all dead. I can hear some word. Something here, though. Maybe we didn't get all of them. Here I can hear something, or is it just birds? Might be birds. Toads. Run. No, I think we killed them, so... So who do I need to talk to when I did that one? What can go wrong? But this is... Yeah, we killed them. It's probably just not updated because we killed them before we accepted the quest. Please don't be like that. North of the plane, isn't that here? North of the plane, that's here. What? Okay, so we need to go. Wait, no, that. Okay. Or if what's north south here? If this should be north, according to. If this is north. 
that's west, east, south. Okay. Maybe there's more rats here. I'm trying to scan with my amazing eyesight. No. Nothing. He was guarding towards this side though. Maybe they're here. Wasn't he standing there? Yeah, that's him. So they might be here, I guess. Or? But the rats were total, totally insane. Okay, so it's just bugged. There are no rats, but damn it. She died when we defended against them. So how do we persuade this girl? Did we already use the cologne, no? So we go here. Where's the fucking Philo Castro guy? Where did he go? There. Okay, good. Then we're going to wait. Wait, okay, give that to him. We don't need to do this every time. One. Never mind, let's go. Now we quick saved. So if something fucks up, then we know. Use. Two. Then we try to pickpocket this asshole. Nope. Put it in the lady. No, we're not gonna make it now. Someone's seeing us. God damn it. We were lucky first time. Because of thinking if we try to put them there and then uh, run out of the place. So I'm not killing all these. That's just silly. <laughs> no. Go again. And then we run out. Okay, so she needs to move at least. Oh, we have 19 to put out, but it doesn't help now. Just go away, please. Thank you. Use, put this to one. We're gonna either succeed or fail with that moment. No. Now she's like running even though she shouldn't be. Oh, we did it. Come here, Fidel Castro. Come, come. Wanna try what happens. We're not saving. Just wanna see what happens. If we run out. it gonna end and now we go in here rest for a tiny bit do we rest for an hour okay we rested already okay nice that went quickly we don't need to wait now it's probably if it changes the weather or day to night and now we go back will they be angry at us or is the mission oh shit they don't yeah they're angry yeah they're angry she's dead at least yeah why can't how can they be angry at us yep. 
about the mission though. This is highly fucking stupid. Some weirdo named Xander from the Protector. Should I believe this obvious fairy tale? I feel like this isn't the uh, how this mission should be. Can we snipe them somewhere? I'm a bit disappointed actually. I don't think this is gonna work. Do we need to kill the whole circus then and... He didn't even die. That was so interesting because... Shouldn't he have also died there? Okay, use this one. Let's try it again just for fun. Put this dirty... Pickpocket. The fuck she wants so fast? Then her... Pickpocket. Okay, so that means that if they've seen us already once, then we need to move. Put it to 30 again. Pickpocket. Nice. Come here, Fidel Castro. Now let's see what happens. Will they attack us at the exit? They both died. So I think the mission actually... How about the mission now then? What does it say? Didn't update. Some weirdo named Xander P1563 tells me future. Uh, do we... No, wait, I'm gonna load. Yeah, I'm gonna load here. Save a normal game. There. So then I can load this one just in case everything goes to shit. And uh, yeah, that way we're gonna do it. Nice, you didn't notice. Now we can quick save even and go back to Crash Demonia and try it that way. Don't be afraid, check it out. Oh, she even she died. Not bad. Oh, you can. Oh, yeah, of course you can. Stupid. The battle ends. Your party gained 58 XP. And they died. So. Can we go back to Crash Testimonia? Talk to that guy. See if uh, that counted as a mission success. If it didn't, we load back to the second load. And. Uh, kill the whole circus, I guess. I don't, I'm not sure. No, this was the worthless. Nice that we now see which ones we can talk to and not talk to. The caravaners, that we understood that the cars we want to talk to. Yeah, we need 25,000 for the car. I walk past it. This is only a test. This is where the boat leaves, somewhere. Does it go to this part of the... Walk past them, thank you. Oh, look, bunker here. We need to visit that one also. There's lots to see here. We haven't even seen the bottom half of the map. It's too bad that uh, 
if we can't do it this way that we have to make a new character to try to finish this quest because this seems like a cool quest coming from the future and giving us one million rubles if we complete this mission it's probably gonna give us like something but in our time it is worth f one million rubles this is all I can give you fare thee well young traveler of the hey Where did it go? Is he only here during daytime? Oh shit, he has an ant. Hey, that's the guy who collects ants. You can fuck talk to them. Let's go talk to him. Sir, sir, do you have time to speak to listen to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Maybe it all was bullshit. So what's the... No. So it didn't count as us finishing the mission. No, it didn't. Because then he would be here. This is something I feel like should be fixed. Wasn't it this one? I think it was this one. Something that should be fixed for sure, because it should count as a kill if they die. Or do we need to talk to them and then do it? A couple of words of the mayor. Continue, continue, continue. Let's try the speechcraft, see what happens. If you start telling the couple about the moral dilemma you had to face before you decided to break them up, then you say a few beautiful words about the young love in general and wish the new friends best luck. You're so right, there are so evil people that make that love wrecking lives. Yeah, they won't scare us, right? I love you even more, knowing that our love has enemies. Oh, my darling, hold me tight. Now I will give you and your future children ten times more love and care, knowing how lucky I am in this terrible world. Oh, maybe we did avert the whole situation by making them show love to each other and their children. The couple starts kissing and groping each other with passion. Hey, the kid was gonna be conceived today. Despite what Xander P603 said, the couple is even more in love now. His reaction interests me. Okay, we still have the save game, so let's run back. I'll speed up the running so you don't need to watch it. This way we all win on it. Okay, so now we're back here. I actually met some bandits, but this is only for test, so... I should maybe have looted them. Because I don't know how to finish that quest with them breaking up anyway. But let's see what the guy says here now. Is he here? No. So where do we meet him? Despite what Xander P603 asked, the couple is even more in love now. His reaction interests me. But he's not here. Is he only here during day? Do we need to wait? What time is it? Five in the morning. Let's wait three hours. See if he comes. Yeah, he's here now. Okay, so he's only here during day. <coughs> Xander walks closer to you. You suddenly notice that his unitard is no longer silver. It is instead silver pink and colored in tiny colorful light bulbs. Someone changed his clothes while you were away. Or did you really change the future? The man bows to you politely. My friend, in the name of the kind democratical elected leader Ilya Sweetheart Kuznetsov and the glorious utopia he has built, I came here to thank you for giving my people an amazing cloudless future. This day you did something good for the future generations, so now it is time for to help you out. Please, follow these coordinates. Xander smiles and he hands you a map of the region of the Eastern Siberia, a 
place tens of thousands of kilometers away from your current location. In this place marked by an X on this map you shall find a soft drink factory that was missed by the nuclear blast. There in the storage rooms you shall find a bounty of at least one million bottle caps. Is this some fucker from Fallout Universe He's here? Um, this place is located on the opposite side of the globe. Also, why would I need bottle caps? Wait a second. Are you saying the people in this timeline do not use bottle caps as currency? But our historians, they told us they were so sure. Oh god, this is so awkward. Mierta, the historians of your time were retarded. By the glory of the noble Ilya Kuznetsov, my time machine is turning off. The battery cannot power for, for longer. No time to pay proper reward for f ah. you suddenly hear a loud cry coming from somewhere in the city you quickly turn away from Xander only to see two homeless people fighting over a horse hoof <laughs> when you turn back to the weird man in the unitard he is no more as if he was never there in the first place or like your inner skeptic deck decides as if he quickly ran away and hid somewhere you never we will never know for certain it's over I see. Okay. Damn it. That was a... Uh, an Easter egg from the Fallout universe, for sure. Okay. Let's continue the next video.